You hear a lot of professional bass anglers talk about the lures and techniques they use to win tournaments. For me, my boat is just as important as any rod, reel, or lure as one of the key tools I use in tournament fishing. I've been around a lot of different boats, but I've never run anything but a nitro. One of the reasons why I love a nitro is the innovation. What amazes me about nitro is how the designers and engineers keep making the nitro models better. Those innovations keep me on the cutting edge of winning tournaments. It's how I've stayed successful my entire career. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. It's the new Nitro Z21. This is a state-of-the-art tournament machine right here. It's the biggest Nitro ever, and it's the flagship of the Nitro line. The foundation of every great boat begins with the hull. It's what drives performance and handling. 21 feet, two inches long, that's a lot of boat and I need all of it to compete at the top level. This hull is tough as nails, and the design provides a smooth, dry ride, even in rough water. I don't want my boat's performance to be compromised by the weight of my gear. Believe me, I carry a lot of tackle, and I use all of it during a tournament season. Everything that I might run into out in the water, I have to be prepared for. Most of the time, I have full live wells and a full tank of gas, but even with all that weight, I got a great hole shot. I get that great hole shot from the rapid planing system. It's a transom and design that provides better on-plane handling. That means tighter turning, higher top end speeds, and improved shallow water performance. The rapid planing system is also a performance feature with a fishing benefit. When I shut down, the anti-splash reverse flow transom keeps water from coming over the back. Nitro engineers have listened to pro fishermen and customer feedback over the past 20 plus years. The result? One of the best deck layouts you could want for any fishing situation. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for any situation. God, they're still blowing up. One of the things I love about this Z21 is this giant casting platform. You know, this raised deck gives me the accessibility and the visibility to make any cast and to see a lot of things out there. You know, whether you're sight fishing or flipping or skipping boat docks, having a giant deck like this and having this raised platform just gives you all the access that you can to make any cast. A lot of times, I might have two or three people with me in the boat. The extra wide deck provides enough space for everyone to cast without getting in the other's way. And you know, it's great to have all this space up here in this giant front deck, but one of the things that I love is having this padding underneath the carpet up here. So it just adds a lot of cushion, just takes a lot of fatigue off you while you're out there fishing. So when you're out there on the water, you want to be comfortable. One of the things that we did on this boat is all the pro staff got together and talked about the little things that would make us more efficient on the water. And the front, there's great examples of that. So, you know, first off, we've got plenty of room to flush mount a 12-inch screen depth finder right here in the bow panel. There's no running light hole there anymore. We've got the, the lights themselves integrated into the side of the boat, so there's nothing to trip over there. This is one of the features I really like. We added this tool holder and drink cup holder here and it left a slot so that the trolling motor cable sits over here to the side and it's never gonna obscure your, your view of that depth finder screen. So it's always out of the way. And again, right up here where you're fishing, a lot of times that's where you're gonna need your pliers or your scissors or you know, your line spray or scent. So I can keep all that stuff right here at my fingertips and right next to it, I've got my recessed trolling motor pedal, which this right here will accommodate any trolling motor foot pedal. We've got our controls over here with a touchpad screen here. Each of them are backlit. Obviously, it's completely waterproof. You can see it at night, in the day, and you can run your trim, your bilge, courtesy lights, you know, anything that you need to run from up here, you right at your fingertips. The Nitro Z21 comes factory rigged with a standard Minn Kota Maxim 24 volt trolling motor with 80 pounds of thrust. You can also choose from an optional Minn Kota or Motor Guide 36 volt trolling motor system.
Well, that was fun getting into those schooling fish, but it's getting pretty hot out now. So we're gonna get here under the shade. I wanna get some more tackle ready. We got some weather coming this afternoon, so uh, we'll be prepared for that afternoon bite, but it's a lot nicer here in the shade. You know, when you travel all over the country fishing tournaments, you gotta be prepared for any situation. So I carry a ton of tackle. The Z21 handles everything that I'm gonna need. Up here in the front, I've got a big open storage box that I can put all the bulky items, you know, my rain jacket, life jackets, ropes, things like that. But on the side, it's got this neat little access panel that I can put eight 3700 series planos right in there on it too. So, you know, it's perfect. Another great feature is all these compartments have a lift assist piston so that once you lift it open, it stays open. It's not falling back down on you. Here on the front lid, I've got these magnetic holders that any of the baits that I'm using for the day, you can just put them in there and it holds them and locks them right into place. It's got a really strong magnet. You know, when you go back here to the split storage, this is where we spend a lot of our time working. So in the split storage here, you can put up to 10 3700 series planos in here. You have a lot of space to put a lot of different tackle in here. Same thing here, you got, you know, you can put 10 3700 series. I've got a lot of these big double wides in here. All of them, again, you can have the, the light on or off. It automatically lights when you open the lid. Um, I've got some speed bags in here. Again, insulated lids, gas assist pistons on it, um, this extra deep rain channel right here so none of this water is ever going to come over this lip and get your tackle wet. All your tackle is going to stay bone dry in there and it's going to be ready to go. You got to protect that investment. Nothing worse than getting water in your storage compartments. The rod storage is another area where we really stepped it up. You know on the port side here we have a three level rod box organizer that holds the butts securely in place so even in rough water your rods aren't bouncing around. What I really like about this is you can put a fully extended eight foot rod in here. You don't have to collapse it down or anything. It's got plenty of room for it. On the other side, we got the same eight foot rod box. It doesn't have the rod storage integrated in it, so you got a lot of room to put anything you want in here. You know, I can keep a spare trolling motor in here. You can put your partner's rods in there. Um, your seat pedestals mount here on the side, the light pole, fire extinguisher, you know, so there's a lot of room in here that you can put more tackle if you'd like or any of the other items that you're carrying along in the boat. Just a ton of storage in the front of this Z21. You know, on both sides of the front deck, uh, we've got cup holders and tool holders. So you can put your pliers, scissors, things like that. It's right where it's nice and handy. Uh, there's a great step pad right here that you can get up onto the deck. And one of the things that I really love is this pull-out drawer right here. It's a, just a great place to put things. You know, I keep spare spools of line, uh, my sunglasses, you can keep your wallet, you know, things like that. It's got a rubber gasket so that when you close that, it keeps it totally dry, even in a rainstorm. You know, here you got your partner rod holders and it has the same receptacle that holds your rod in place. So once you stick it in there, that thing is locked down. You can strap it here in the back. And again, it's just perfect for your partner to keep his rods neat and handy and not bouncing around. Nitro engineers really listen to us when they redesign the cooler on the Z21. First thing you notice is that it's really big. It can hold a lot of drinks. You can put a lot of ice in it. So those hot summer days, you can really keep your stuff cold all day long. Another thing is they insulated this cooler from the inside before they ever put it into the boat. So there's no spots where there's insulation missing. It's got a, a removable trash receptacle. And one of the really cool features is that it's got this snap-in sandwich holder. So it keeps your sandwich, your you know, snacks and things like that above the ice. They're not gonna get wet. They're not gonna get damp or anything like that. And it stays right down um, in the corner over here. Another thing that is a really good feature is that it's got a lip all the way around it. So if you're out there in a really hard rainstorm, the water that's running off the front deck is not going to run into your cooler and melt your ice. It's gonna run around the side and be out of there. So there's nothing contaminating your cooler. It's the best cooler we've ever had. It's got plenty of room. You can hold all your stuff in it. Even in a hot day, it's gonna keep that ice all day long. You know, the console, it's your master control center. And there's a lot of great features on the Z21 console. First off, you got a LED light here on the side you can turn on and off for early in the morning or at nighttime. Um, it's got a great windshield that really deflects the wind, the bugs, the rain, but still gives you a commanding view of what's in front of you when you're running at high speeds. Uh, the console itself, when you look here at all the gauges in your depth finder, you got a great view of everything. The multifunction gauges, they're backlit so you can see them in low light or even at night real well. It will accept up to a 12-inch uh, touchscreen unit here 
built right into the dash. So you got a lot of great things right here. Uh, the control panel itself, the key is recessed, so you're not hitting it with your knee or anything like that when you're coming in and out of the wheel. It's got uh, a tilt wheel. Um, the control panel over here on the other side, all touch pad, completely waterproof switches. They got LED blue lights backlit, so in low light or at night, you can see everything to run all your controls. Underneath is a really cool feature. It's a Ram X-Mount cell phone holder, and right next to it, it's got a 12-volt uh, a power outlet, so you can keep your phone underneath the console, but it's still out in the open where you can hear it ring and things. Other things about the console is that uh, it has a step pad when you sit in here that you can brace your legs. So if you're in rough water, you can keep great control. Hot foot's here right to the other side. It's one of the best designed consoles I've ever seen in a bass boat. The Z21 also takes into consideration the needs and comforts of tournament co-anglers and fishing partners. For instance, it accepts an optional and removable port console. This optional console is removable with just three hand-tightened bolts. The seats on the Nitro Z21 are NASCAR inspired and they're built for comfort and performance. They've got built-in shock absorbers, so they're really comfortable even in rough water. Both of them are fully adjustable. The third center seat is removable, so if you have a passenger, you've got a spot for them to sit. And if you don't, you've got a full wide step plate to get to the rear casting platform. The Nitro Z21 has two base positions located between the trolling motor pedal and seat. Hydraulic operation allows for easy adjustment in height so you can find the most comfortable position when you're running the trolling motor. The deck is covered with marine grade, high quality 22 ounce weight carpet. It's anti-snag using a cut pile material without any loops. Another great feature on the Z21 is the integrated net storage. So all you do is tuck this net in right behind and it's got Velcro to hold the handles so it'll accommodate really any size net and keep it locked in place but still readily available when you need it during that tournament. Right between the live wells is the recessed measuring board. You know, anytime you catch a fish that you're not quite sure if it's gonna measure, the measuring board's right there, it's flush mounted so you can pop it out real quick, check the fish, and put the ruler right back where it's at so it's handy all the time. The rear casting platform has a lot of room for your partner to fish. And the other thing is, there's a lot of storage back here. Both sides have removable compartments. Behind the driver's seat, you can put seven 3700 Planos in this removable pull-out storage compartment. On the opposite side, we have a removable storage compartment, so you can put some tackle and things, extra things in it. And underneath, we have prop storage, so if you want to carry a spare prop, there's a place for it that's going to keep it secure. The rear storage compartment on the Z21 is another area that's really well thought out. First, you've got two removable compartments that you can keep some of those extra things that you don't really need to get at very often. You know, I keep spare parts, some tools, troll motor props, some extra rope, uh, some of my marker buoys, wheel chocks, stuff like that right there in those removable lids. And once you open it up, you can see it's very spacious and it's easy to access everything. So you can get to your batteries very easily. Um, there's access to all your plumbing. There's plenty of room for your oil injection. Um, if you have power poles to put the pumps, built-in battery charger, all that, there's plenty of room. And another really cool feature that's standard this year is the emergency start switch. So all you have to do if for some reason your crank battery goes dead is turn this start switch over and you can jump it off one of your trolling motor batteries. The other thing, you can turn your power completely off, which is very important if your boat's in storage. You get two heavy-duty Interstate Series 29 trolling batteries and a cranking battery. There's also an onboard battery charger with exterior receptacle. All it takes is plugging in the extension cord and the batteries are charging. It's all clean and neat with plenty of room, easy to access everything. The live well system on the Z21 is something that's really special. I don't really like to call it a live well. This is a fish care system. Our live wells are the best in the industry and taking care of these fish is really important to me, so we spared nothing in these live well design. First and foremost, both of these live wells are completely separate. They have their own water, they each have their own freshwater pump and their own recirculating pump and their own pump out. So when I catch a fish in an area, I can fill it quickly with a 500 gallon per hour pump. So, you know, I don't have to carry around a lot of extra weight. As soon as I catch the fish, I'm using the same water from where that fish was at to fill that live wall. And I can fill it right up to the top to the baffle system in it. Once I get the fish in there, then I can recirculate that water. And we have a 750 gallon per hour pump for recirculating that water. 
Both live wells have oxygen generators in them, so we're putting as much oxygen back into the water as we possibly can. Another really good feature is that the drains are located all the way in the very bottom of the live well. And what that does is allow me to drain all the water completely out of the live wells when I leave the lake. That's very important these days when we're trying to make sure that we don't transfer any invasive species from one lake to another. The baffle itself it keeps the water from sloshing around. So if I'm running in rough water, the fish aren't getting beat up in the live well. All the live wells have rounded corners so that, again, we're protecting those fish and keeping them in the best shape that they possibly can. The live wells are fully insulated from the lid to all the way around the interior of it. This live well system is absolutely the best in the industry and will take care of your catch better than any other that I've ever seen. You know, as a tournament fisherman, I cover a lot of miles with my nitro, both on and off the water. So having a trailer that tows as good as the boat drives on the water is really important to me. And at Nitro, they do a great job. They build this Galvashield trailer for this one model and this one model alone. So it actually tows down the road like a dream. And it's got a lot of great features built into it. The fiberglass fenders on this trailer, brand new design this year. It's got a lot bigger step pads on it, so it's easier to get in and out of the boat if you want to from back here on the trailer itself and newly designed integrated backup lights mounted on the side for better visibility, even in a dark parking lot. Another great feature is this integrated step system to get in and out of the boat from the trailer. It's just awesome. You step right up here, grab the pole, step in, one, two, three, you're in the boat. The custom match trailer is perfectly made for each nitro model and features Galvashield corrosion protection. That means that the seal is galvanized inside and out at the source, then assembled in our own plant. It's then powder coat painted and finally baked. The result, an amazing finish that is tough and corrosion resistant for mile after mile. So that's it. This is the brand new Nitro Z21. Top to bottom, front to back, all new design. And believe me, we put a lot of thought and effort to make this the ultimate fishing machine. It's the flagship of the Nitro brand and it's the ultimate tournament boat for me.